hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for take last time we did the review of superior OS, which is very good and with 13 based rom but now in the race of custom rom another pixel experience based rom called as pixis os made available for the nothing phone one by the developer ashwin a this firmware comes with the combination of simple lightweight and minimalistic design it contains some of the best hand picker features that can improve the styling and some tweaks that can extend your device performance and push the limits of overall user experience. It has nothing OS camera with the working glyph feature and reverse wireless charging of nothing phone one. It supports the lots of devices with the regular updates. Now nothing phone one is officially supported. So flashing is simple, just download the ROM zip file, place it in your PC on the desktop or inside the platform tools folder of your PC. Your PC must have the latest fastboot driver installed, power off the phone and long press the volume down plus power button. Phone will boot to the fastboot mode and connect it to the PC. Now in the folder where you place the ROM zip file, open command prompt by pressing shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse. Now type fastboot devices to check the device is properly connected or not. Then type fastboot update and drag the ROM zip file in a CMD. Flashing will start on the PC. Meanwhile at the waiting for the device point, phone will boot to this fastboot D mode screen. After half or one minute flashing will start again. Once done you will get the 100% done notification in the window. Phone will reboot to this Pixis OS recovery screen. Here tap factory set and select format data and then tap reboot to the system. So flashing is done here. Today in this video we will check out what's new is added in this new custom ROM which is performance and CPU stability comparison with the other top performing custom ROMs. Finally at the end I shown some bugs and given my final verdict. Do you need to use this ROM or not? So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. Phone booted with the new Pixis OS boot animation. When you complete the whole setup process and boots to the home screen, surprisingly you got the Pixel launcher here. This is the first sign of boatware free ROM. Let's jump to the about phone to check the details of this new ROM. At the top of the about phone we guess the Pixis OS name. Below it's showing the Pixis OS version 6.1 with the GApps. Android version is 13 Tiramisu with the same material clocker easter egg of Android 13. Security patch is of latest 5th January 2023. Google Play system update is of August 2022. We can update it manually later. Kernel version is 5.4.210. Build data from is 2nd Feb 2023. ROM has all the latest sources and codes to improve the user experience and safety of the device. As this is the initial build, I tested all the important functions. I will quickly show you them here. Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspots are working good. Bluetooth devices are connecting and they have the working HDR codecs like the LDAC, SBC and aptX. GPS, NFC both are working without any issues. Very important feature that is the reverse wireless charging is working in this ROM. This is a great addition, no other custom ROM offers this feature. Here I tried to charge my Galaxy watch and it's working. Another important part is the 5G network, VOLT calling and the Wi-Fi calling are working. I tested the 5G compatibility only for the Airtel sims, I don't know whether it's working for the other sims or not. ROM has the inbuilt call recording, you will find the recorded calls under the call lock section. Hey Google off screen and on screen mode both are working. Under display fingerprint and the face unlock both are working, they are enough fast and accurate. Now it comes the another important part that is Glyph Light. Who gets the Glyph Light tile under the quick setting panel, if you tap on it to hold the Glyph Light works. Who gets the separate setting under the main setting of the phone to control the Glyph Light. Here you get the Glyph Brightness Control Slider, Call and Notification Glyph Toggle setting is available. It will give us this same Glyph animation for the calls and notifications too. This type of animation only found in this ROM. Phone charging indicator is working. Flip to Glyph animation setting is available. It has some bugs that we will discuss under the bug section of the video. So stay tuned until the end of this video. All the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are working very good. Other major sensors related to the calling like ear proximity, microphone, ear speaker are working absolutely fine. So no issues you will find while making the calls. Flashlight display and multi touch are working good. Now let's check out the nothing OS camera available in this ROM. This camera is pretty stable but still some things are buggy. 
like slow motion shooting is working but videos will not getting saved in the storage video shooting at 180p 60fps 720p are working but 4k recording didn't have any fps control hdr mode is working only for the 180p resolution all wide angle camera modes are working like the 2x 1x and 0.6x 50 megapixel ultra hd picture mode is working Portrait mode for the both the selfie and the main camera are working and the blur effect is also very good as you can check the picture on the screen. Under the more option all the features like the time lapse, panorama mode, macro mode, expert mode all are working fine. In the video recording video stabilization is also working fine but the video recording light and the glyph flash light is not working. You can use the quick setting tile to enable the glyph flash. So basically this camera has nearly stable experience. Now it's time for the testing the performance of the ROM. ROM is really very fluid and smooth. Actually we can't differentiate the smoothness and the performance if you already used any other custom ROM. But still this ROM has something different charm. It has the fluid animations while opening and closing the applications. This ROM didn't have the force 120 or settings under the developer or setting of the phone. So it runs on the adaptive refresh rate, it goes to the 60Hz in the idle mode to save the battery. Once you touch the screen, it goes immediately to the 120Hz. This works also in the camera application. It's a pretty performance and the battery oriented approach. When I ran the Geekbench test, I got the score of 810 and 2983 for the single and multi-core. Multi-core performance is the second highest score till the date, which is closer to the paranoid Android. While Superior OS has the highest results of 3021, which is the all time high. Other ROMs are lagging behind at the score of 2550. Then I did the test for the Hulkan Graphics API. Here we got the score of 2532. Pixel Plus UI has the highest result of 2800, while other ROMs are ranging between 2500 to 2700. Overall, though the ROM is not top performing ROM in the numerical result, but it has the amazing real life user experience. Now it's time for the CPU stability test using the CPU throttle. I did the test on the 20 threads only for the 5 minutes. I never did the test more than the 6 minutes because it's not recommended to run the test at the higher threads and for the more than 5 minutes. Before running the test, temperature of device was ranging between 37 to 39 degrees Celsius. When I started the test, graph seemed stable during whole the test, no yellow or the red line found between. After stopping the test at the 5 minutes, we got the score of 91%, which is very good score and we got this score in first attempt. Some other custom ROM not getting this score in the first attempt. This ROM is purely GM, which is maintaining the temperature of device ranging between 45 to 47 degrees Celsius even after the CPU throttling test, which is not so high temperature. So ROM has the good capability to handle the CPU throttling. Now let's check out some features and the customizations who gets in this ROM. This is the pure AOSP ROM, so we didn't get too much features like the Super AOS Evolution X etc. ROM has the Pixel Launcher and all the goodies of the Pixel devices. It has all the working features of Android 13. It has the recent panel overview selection and the quick shortcuts to share the links and images. Wallpaper and theming application has the theme icon and all the Pixel wallpapers. Last 5 recently used wallpaper switch on the home screen is available. Advanced at a glance is working which has the customization under the launcher setting. Under the main setting of the device you get the theme setting. Here you get the different toggles like the vivid colors, dark theme etc. Vivid colors gives some vibrant and the complete pure black look to the ROM. Monet engine option has setting to choose the custom Monet color picker. Slider to increase the colorfulness of the theme is available. Separate brightness slider for the theme text and the color is working. Under display setting you get the different headlines and the body fonts, bunch of the system icon fonts available under the icon pack option. You get the different color modes for the display like allow, standard, boosted, saturated and adaptive. Full screen application setting is available in this ROM. If some applications not working at the full screen due to the punch hole camera, you can enable the full screen mode using this setting. Under the lock screen setting of the display, you get the double line clock toggle for the lock screen. It's working good and looks nice. Single tap and double tap to check the phone along with the double tap to sleep is working good on always on display of lock screen. Always on fingerprint toggle is a setting which keeps the fingerprint access on all the time even the screen is off. We have to just place the finger on the fingerprint location to unlock the device. Another customization who gets under the main setting is the Pixis laboratory. 
There are different toggles like the ignore window, secure flags, unlock higher APS in the games is available here but they are just placebo setting. Google Photos unlimited photo backup is already available in the ROM, still its toggle here is available. Hidden applications toggle helps to hide any system or the user applications from the app drawer. We have to just check mark the application and then to unhide them we have to just uncheck the same setting. All the other gesture customizations are available under the gesture setting of the phone. So we discussed all the things, now major part remaining is the bugs and the issues. It's very disappointing in this ROM, it didn't pass in the CTS profile check during the Asana Acceptinet check. So by default we can't run the banking and security applications, but I already created a video how to bypass the safety net and run the banking application tutorial. You can check that video from the iCard. You can use that to solve this issue. Next common issue for the all the custom ROM for the nothing phone one is that the wide one security is on L3. So you can't stream the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. As ROM is not passing the safety net, Device Play Protect is uncertified so you can't able to install certain applications like the Netflix and many other applications. This issue can also be solved by using that iCard video. We already seen the Glyph light. It has the flip to Glyph setting but it's very laggy. It's stuck at the different animations as you can check in this video. Sometimes it works flawlessly, sometimes it shows some issues. Except these bugs, nothing is serious to avoid this ROM. If you are a fan of Pixel Experience and want slight combination of mild customizations, with the goodies of pixel devices and great performance then this build is for you that's it for today guys if you think this video helped you then please do like share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye